So 9 to 5 Google posted this article today, and I really am interested because I've been talking a lot about foldable phones, right? A lot about, you know, just crazy technology being advanced very quickly and the future of a lot of tech. Well, right here I have a Quest 2. This Quest 2, of course, is a VR headset, a virtual reality. Now, the future seems to not be virtual reality anymore. It was at one point until iPhones started going ahead and getting this little black dot on the back and a lot of other phones too. And that's because it's AR technology. And that is honestly seeming to be the future. The idea that you can take the real world and the virtual world and combine it together and be able to function as one is that next level above everything else. And that's what we're seeing here with the outdoor AR headset. Now, this is powered by a Snapdragon AR2 Gen 1. So it does have a little bit of firepower behind it. And that's what, again, makes it even more awesome. Now, we have seen similar concepts to this. Um, you know, you had the Apple glasses, the, uh, I think Google glasses, where you could put on glasses, walk around, and actually see things in real life. They're happening, you know, just through your glasses. But it never was as advanced as this actually is. And this is, in my opinion, the future. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Starting off right away, we go ahead and go down. They show off the exact unit right there. And what's funny is we are in the pre-early stages of this, right? We're in the beginning of AR technology to this level where you can walk around in a headset. So it does look ugly. I'll be honest, it looks absolutely hideous. But it's because it's an early version. You give this 10, 15 years, this thing's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Right now, obviously, it's going to look a little bit of... Let's be honest. <laughs> if you walk around, you see guys walk around with this on, you're going to look at them and be like, um, are you good? Eventually, we're going to get to a point where they will actually look like these glasses, and that will change the whole entire ball game. And you guys can see, it might look weird to us, them walking around, but what they're seeing is not what we're seeing. Let's see what they're seeing. So if we go ahead and scroll down here, this is what they're seeing. So imagine being on a public sidewalk with these glasses on, and after, you know, you get made fun of a thousand times, um, you just look forward and you see play and settings. And you can click on play and start playing a game in real life, in real world, do these headsets now to think about the amount of people who are going to absolutely get destroyed in public for doing this and i'm not talking about look wise i'm talking about pokemon go if you guys remember pokemon go the big issue with that was people walking into traffic people were staring at their phones not paying attention and walking into buildings walking into areas they weren't supposed to it was a mess this is going to be very similar when it first starts off. This is why I've always been interested in AR technology and it is the future, but it really does not help that you're putting people in real life with things with obviously, you know, gaming, virtual reality. It's gonna be interesting. So for example, here you go. You have a person who is playing a game and I'm gonna guess you move your head or a controller to actually, you know, orient your character, but they're playing a game in real life. So, again, these are very small examples. Imagine the scope of the future when you add in more things than just what you see here. So, this is a very small, you know, like box, right? We are taking off the lid with how much you can do with this moving forward, but. We go through, you guys can see right here, they are creating a character here, and the character is actually moving, so it does have a controller, so that does make sense. You can actually, again, looks like a VR headset has controllers. Uh, you are able to, I want to see if I had my controller over here, but you're able to go ahead and move around your controller, and different things happen. So, again, and this is another cool thing, because yes, they're playing video games, and that's awesome, but this also puts in perspective a lot of other things so for example 
let's say, you know, you are in a different country and they do not speak the same language you speak. If you can have this VR headset or AR headset in your head, look at a sign and it automatically translates to exactly, you know, what exactly what it's saying, but in your language, that's a that's a game changer. If you can like this right here, you look at a sign, you see an advertisement, and it gives you exact directions on your head on where to go. Obviously, you have to be a little mindful of watching out where you're walking. But that is a next level type thing. And again, like I said, I really do like it. And I can't wait to see how much more they do enhance in the future. Because this is only the beginning. And it's going to get even better and better as time goes on. Now, again, there are a lot of risks with this. Like I said before, the price tag is going to be high. So that's something to take into consideration. Um, but, you know, it's a step up from virtual reality. In virtual reality with the whole meta stuff, you know, we're literally creating our own universe. This is taking that created universe and putting it into our universe. The amount of, the amount of stuff that's going to come in the future when it comes to this kind of is crazy. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'm definitely interested in hearing it because would you walk around rocking these glasses? I, I don't know. I don't know if I would. I don't know. I'm no I'm not sure if I would or not. It would be one of those things where it's like I don't know. It's not even a look thing. It's also like being distracted and actually like bumping into someone or something. But definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.